Hi, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be incubating eggs. We've decided that we need to get rid of our rooster. So before we do that, we're going to see if we can incubate some eggs and hatch our own eggs. So we have bought the Nature Bright 360 incubator by Harris Farms. And we're going to see how it works. I'm very excited because we've never done this before. I've never done this before. Um, so we're just going to take this step by step and see how it turns out. If you like this video, help us out by hitting the like button and please subscribe. So while we're waiting for our incubator to stabilize, we're going to go ahead and put the date on these. We're also going to put X on one side to ensure that the eggs are turning correctly in the incubator. So we're going to pick out our eggs and I'm going to put today's date on there. So I'm going to put an X on one side to ensure that they're turning correctly. On the other side I'm going to put the date. And today's New Year. If you need to store your eggs for a few days before you put them in your incubator always make sure to store them with the point side down so our incubator has been set up for four hours i have had to adjust the humidity a good bit i really think that we may have a little bit too much water in here so we'll just let it evaporate, but we'll have to watch the humidity. Um, it's a 54%. The directions say between 48 and 55 is okay. So we're going to take this off. When we do, the humidity is going to drop a little bit anyway. So we're adding our eggs. I'm going to put the X up so we can ensure that the eggs are turning. The pointed end points toward the middle. Okay, we know it's turning. Autumn is helping. I've added some green food color into our water because I googled it and it said to be able to tell the where your water level is to add green food coloring and that will help you with that. It will not hurt the eggs or do anything to the humidity. It's just food coloring. So we're going to add our lid back on and our humidity should adjust by itself. Today is the seventh day and we're going to candle the eggs to see if the chickens are developing. 
So I hope we're going to see some movement or something. We do have to turn the light out before we get started. This is the one next to that one. The one with the fur in it. There is something there. This is something weird. There. This one's really dark. Did the light come in or something? This one's a dark color red. It's gonna be hard to see. I see something. It's got a line through there. Yeah. moving in there. Look. It's like moving. So far we have one that we know I don't think it was even fertilized so we know it's bad so we removed it because if it rots it will bust and cause all the other eggs to be non-sterile when the babies hatch. Okay it's day 14 we got six days to go till they start supposed to start hatching so we're going to candle the eggs let's see what they're doing can you see it is it moving yeah Can you see it moving in the camera? Okay, let's put it back. You could see it better with the other camera. Oh, look. Look, he's moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a foot. It's a foot. Look. See it? Is it just one foot? Yeah. See? See its foot? Yes. It's going to be a fat chicken. I wanted to kind of explain about the air bubble on the egg. When the chicken gets ready to hatch, it actually punctures the inside of the membrane and it is able to breathe and into that air sac. And then once it is breathing through the air sac, it's a lot of things that go on inside the egg that we can't see. So that air sac is very important if you're kindling eggs on the 14th day. This one I can't tell. I mean, I see a big bubble on the bottom. That's about it. Yeah, you see it that moving? That moving. I see it moving too. Okay, so we got two we know moved. 
You see it? All right, be still. Okay, so we know we got four. It moved. It moved, it definitely moved. Look. That one doesn't look as big as the other ones did. Turn it around. Upside down. This egg is an example of one that didn't finish developing. It just has a dark blot on the inside. It's just not developed. So we had to discard this egg because it wasn't developed. We were afraid it would bust and ruin the other eggs. So we had to get rid of two on the seventh day because they were infertile and we had to get rid of this one because it did not develop so that left us with nine eggs on the 14th day on the 18th day you unplug the egg turner because on the 18th day you have to go into lockdown mode and you also remove the egg turner just to make sure and to give the eggs room to hatch After putting the top back on the incubator, you have to add water to reservoir B. This is to raise the humidity, and the humidity needs to be around 70%, 65 to 70%, so that the eggs can finish developing and do everything that they need to do inside of the egg. The humidity level allows moisture to be inside the eggs it helps everything stay moist so the eggs can hatch correctly we first set our eggs we set them at six o'clock at night which begin our clock that day at six o'clock at night on day one so day 21 ran from six o'clock in the afternoon to the next day at six o'clock so that was a 24-hour time span our first pip was at around seven o'clock on the 21st day the next morning when we woke up at 6 a.m we only had four pips so our first egg that hatched did not hatch till three o'clock in the afternoon when the first little chick hatched, it had its egg yolk still attached. After every other chicken hatch, we noticed that they all had the egg yolk attached. Some of them seem to have more egg yolk than others. So I don't know if this is normal. I, I think it is because all the chicks seem to be fine after this. I learned lots of things about chicks and how they hatch and how they act when they're hatching and missile the cat and autumn the dog learned lots of things too autumn seemed very protective of the little chicks and didn't like it when missile was trying to missile. look at the chickens hatching if you're going to hatch your own eggs i suggest that you do a lot of research beforehand because when the chickens started hatching i had lots of questions that i didn't know the answers to and it was just trial and error. So I did learn that all little chicks are born with their egg yolks still attached. And it falls off as they come out of the egg. So that was normal. It takes about 
20 to 45 minutes for the chick to go from what they call zipping. You get the pip and the pip. The first chicken that pipped actually took about 18 hours before it came out of its egg. But once it starts doing this, zipping is what they call it, it goes all the way around the egg with its little beak. And then once it gets around the egg, pushes itself out of the shell and it's born. And I did not know any of this before we hatched these eggs. So this was trial and error for us. So we have learned lots of things through this hatching. This was our third little chick that was born. And all three of these were born about the same time within a two hour span and then that night we had a fourth little chick born probably around nine o'clock which would technically be the 22nd day On the 22nd day, we had two more little babies to hatch in the morning about 5 o'clock. I woke up and they were hatching. At this point, we had five little black chicks and two little yellow chicks. We still had one egg that had pipped. This is one egg that we didn't think was going to make it. So we had to wait all day for that egg to hatch before we disturbed them and took them out to go in their temporary box with their little light. So as you can see, we got the babies out and we put them in their temporary box. You have to take the little babies and dip their heads and their little beaks in the water so they can know where the water is. Missile like to help us do that. And we promise that we only allow the animals around the chicks with adult supervision. They're never allowed to be around the chicks and look in the boxes without us being there. A missile is very excited about the chicks our other little chick that was born last actually has some small issues it was born with some i think what you would call that it's the umbilical cord just didn't absorb like it was supposed to so we currently have that little chick in the incubator still he seems to be fine he's running around and i put him a little bit of food and a little water in there and we will take him out and put him with the other chicks. We just didn't want the chicks pecking on his little bottom because we didn't want them to make him bleed. So we're going to keep him in there until tomorrow and then try putting him in with the other chicks. Thank you for joining us with our first experience hatching baby chickens. Please subscribe and hit the like button. We'll see you next time.